Hello, hello, welcome. It is so great to have you here. Happy Monday to you. Go ahead and let me know in the comments where you're tuning in from so that I can greet you. And you can do the same even if you're catching this on the replay. Go ahead and let us know where you're tuning in from. It's always fun to see where we're all meeting together and, and coming together from. So Lou and I are coming to you live from Michigan. He is here. He just is invisible at this moment. <laughs> He'll be here in a second. Um, so we're coming to you from Michigan. We got a little bit of an overcast day, a little bit of a chilly day, but um, that's okay. We're fine with that. We've got somebody tuning in from the sunny sunshine state of Florida. We have someone here from Edmond, Oklahoma. We've got Natasha tuning in from North Carolina. We have Chris tuning in from Watertown. Hey, Chris. We have somebody tuning in from Oregon. And we also have another fellow Michigander. Hello, Heather. Glad that you're here with us today. But yeah, as you're getting here, go ahead and let me know where you're tuning in from. And again, my name is Tammy, if you don't know me. We've got Denise tuning in from Gurney, Illinois. And if you've never been on one of our lives and you see how like some people are showing up as Facebook user, hey, Pamela, glad you're here today. Um, you may need to give permissions to StreamYard. So let me real quick show you how to do that. So you can just open up a new tab real quick and go to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. And there's a little button that you push and that allows us to have the permissions. Maybe it'll work this time right away. Don't know if you have to refresh your page after you do that, but anyway, just so you know, that way we can see who you are. Hello, tuning in from Chicago, Chicago. Lou and I love Chicago. Of course, we're just a couple hours away from there, so that's kind of like one of our favorite weekend getaway spots. Hello, honey. Hello, everyone. Hello. Sorry, I'm a female. We've so. got Lucy. See, Lucilla here tuning in from Colorado. Hey, hey, Lucilla. We are glad that you are here as yes. well. So we've got some new faces here. We've got now we've Good. got Sharice tuning in hey, from Charisse. Delaware. And Hello, I... Sharice. Always great to have you. Hello, see. Vanessa. Always great to see you as well. I see Chris too from uh let's see from New York. Waterton, New, New York. York. Yeah. And Chris Natasha. Hello, Natasha. Yep. So awesome. Let me go ahead. We're going to, um, we have a fun $5 Starbucks gift card game that we always do because we have some great yep. information we want to share with you, but we always have fun first. <laughs> so, right. so we call this our $5, $5, $5 Starbucks gift card game. And the game question may take a little bit of thought this time, but that's okay. okay. The first person to guess oh, it. And real quick, the if you guys game. hear noise in the background, we have some tree work done being done on our yes. property. So please excuse any, if I need to shut the window, I will. So, yeah. But it needed yeah. to be done and I've been putting it off because I don't want to spend the money. So anyway, so if you, you hear, know, you know, if you, you hear know. a tree noise, that's what's happening. That's right. If you hear a scream and yell and you see a flash on the screen, then call 911. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Our address is, um, okay. And we've got, okay. We've got Holly tuning in from Montana. Ooh, hey, Holly. Great to see you. That's fun. I've awesome. heard so many awesome things about Man Montana. I definitely yeah. want to go there sometime. I feel like it would just be a really great place to, it's to visit. Beautiful. beautiful. Okay. So Lou and I just, so, so for, we're going to do the $5 Starbucks gift card game. Yep. But just before I show the question, Lou and I are going to be going on an AMA waterways river cruise. I'm excited in a few weeks. And so yep. our question kind of has to do with that. So I just wanted to get you in mm -hmm. the mode. We're going to be in Europe on a river cruise. And right. here is the game question. Get your fingers ready. All right. What city will Lou and I be extending our stay in on our river cruise? So at oh. the end of our river cruise, okay. what city are we going to stay a couple of extra days in? And you guys, I can't remember it. And so uh, so, <laughs> so, so he will not know. Will if not you it, so good thing he has me as his travel professional. And Tanisha. Hello, Tanisha. Oh, we've got some, yeah, Tanisha, we have JFM Travel, Sandra Scott. Oh, hey, Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Great to see you. And Christy, hey, Christy. All right, so we got some answers coming in. We got Prague, we got <laughs> Amsterdam, we have Paris, we have Amsterdam. Man, they all you guys good. are doing great, doing great. It's hard because they don't know what cruise we're doing, so it's kind of They like, do not. So it's kind of We unfair. have Paris, we have Amsterdam, if I can talk, Amsterdam. Yeah. Any other guesses? Budapest, Munich, Barcelona, 
Look at that, Christy. You got it. Yay! Christy McGowan. We We're are so excited. It it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So now go ahead, let me know in the comments. One, have you been on a river cruise? Go say yes if you've been on a river cruise. Two, yeah. if you've been on a river cruise, go ahead and tell me what river cruise you've been on um, in the comments. So it's two separate comments of right. whether, whether yes or no, if you've been on a river cruise um which one you've been on if you've been on one and um if sure. not you could put a bucket list river cruise so again like lou and i said we're doing an ama waterways um and it's a, the danube river so right and hello greta i see greta we're hey. super excited for that hey hello, rachel, hello, rachel glad you're greta. here great to see you guys so all right so christy has been on okay she has so sandra has right. been on one on the rhine Ooh. Uh, yeah that was one that i was awesome looking at too it was so hard to make a decision on we, which we one to do they all look so amazing now has the rhine been like we had a we don't sell tons of river cruises we do more you know of your caribbean mm -hmm. south pacific hawaii destination weddings honeymoon but we had a river cruise that we sold to a former client mm -hmm. and they were on the rhine river but the rhine had dried it was one of those years when the Rhine had the, the water, water table low. went right. too low. All right, Rachel's been on the gems of the Southeast Europe. Ooh, Ooh that, that sounds, sounds fun. pretty cool, Rachel. And Christy did um, has done two on the oh. Avalon and um, with Ama. Okay, Amsterdam and Budapest. What about, so I, I'm super excited about exciting. Budapest, and I'm really into like the Jewish history of the Christian faith, and so we mm -hmm. are going to go to the Jewish quarter while we're in Budapest. I'm yes, excited about that. Yes, so that'll be really cool. And Sandra said she loves the history and the castles. Ooh, yeah, I'm just great. like I'm going to have my camera out like 24/7. Oh, yeah. I need to like, I'm going to have to like remind myself, like I can just relax and enjoy it. Like I do not literally have to have my phone out for every single second of, of this thing. That's kind of how I feel like I'm going to be. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to be like, and I'm going to get that. And we're going to be that. walking a lot. So we are already getting ourselves um, in shape, doing kind of walking out. We've been walking an hour a day. And actually you guys just walking an hour a day and watching calories I have lost now, what, 12 pounds yes. in about a month and a half. Yes. And I, all this is just walking an hour a day. Yes. And he looks good. Oh, that's <laughs> high. Jeez. And uh, she's embarrassed me. And watching my macros because the, the idea is, is that, and I got a coach to help me with this, but the idea is you go, you go just under the amount of calories your body would normally use just to exist throughout there. We shut the window for you guys. <laughs> yes. And, um, you know, and so I'm not hungry. I can eat whatever I want. I just look at my mouth. Like we had a crumble cookie on Saturday. We had a rum and coke last night and I still am losing weight because yeah. I'm just watching my macros. So there is some math to it. It's not magic. It is math. But between the walking. Greta, hubba, hubba. <laughs> <laughs> Greta, you're so funny. Anyway, I'm excited because I feel healthier. I look better. For the first time in a fitting room mirror, I actually didn't look like an old man's body that I've looked for the last All right. 20 years. Sandra Scott says we got to up our game and make sure we're walking Ooh. up hills and on, on yes. unlevel concrete. No, so you're right. Because <laughs> the other thing, yeah, I've learned is that, oh, thank you, Natasha. Thank, but you're right. Because if you, your body gets healthier and healthier, so you have to increase the the right. work. Right. So walking uphill, we we're hoping to get a treadmill maybe for winter mm -hmm. so that we can at least walk in our home uh, as well. So, all anyway, right, but that's not right. why you're here. Right. Sorry. Guys. So quick question beyond that. So tell me who's here. Do you have a lead magnet that is out operating, working for you? Or just do you have a lead magnet? Go yeah. ahead and say yes or no. If you have a lead magnet today, we're going to be talking about lead <clears> magnets <throat> at the end of our discussion today. I hope that you are either encouraged to have a lead magnet or you are reminded of why your lead magnet is so important. All right. Okay. Hey, Elisa. Hello. All right. Elisa. So we have um, Elisa has one. Yep. Sandra Heather's... does not yet. Somebody else says no. Heather said no. Right. Um, well, good. This is you're in the right place. And, and, and Elisa right, that's... John said she's got one, but no bites yet. OK. Chris has designed one, has no clue how to get a funnel started. Oh, um, we can talk a little bit about that. And then Holly said not yet. Hey, Holly. Need to create one for Sandra. 90% finish for Sharice. Good job, Sharice. Good, Sharice. That's fantastic. Good. All right. So we're going to be chatting about um, uh, Jessica still working on one. All but right. we're going to just be reminding you, again, the power of 
the lead magnet and, and why Dawn, you need one. And I wanted to say to Dawn, Dawn hasn't had one. Dawn, maybe we can talk a little bit about that. And then depending on our time, next week we might talk about how you set up your funnel mm -hmm. with this lead magnet. So today we'll talk. And then, Dawn, uh, maybe we can talk a tiny bit today about your lead magnet and see what we can do to get leads on it. Might even need, maybe we could tweak a couple things with it, with mm -hmm. the title or whatever. But anyway, um, we'll get into this. Okay, let's jump in. Why every destination wedding and honeymoon <clears throat> travel specialist needs yes. a lead magnet. So I have set apart five different reasons why, and there's multiple reasons why, but we're going to just kind of focus on five different reasons why you need to have a lead magnet. Yeah. First things first, to, to, to capture targeted leads. Targeted is the key word. Yes. Targeted. You, you're not... And we teach this in our 20K program, but you are not supposed to work with everyone. And you're mm -hmm. not trying to get everyone. Mm -hmm. You are trying to get the people that are the right fit people that you want to work with. Right. Right. Whether it's destination weddings and honeymoons. And let's just take that topic, destination weddings and honeymoons. But you're not working with every single destination wedding and honeymoon couple. You can't. You don't have the bandwidth for that. And if you are, then you're one of those big conglomerates. It's our competition. Right. But you are you are not built to work with hundreds of couples for weddings. You're built to work with 10 to 15, maybe 20 great wedding and honeymoon couples. I mean, you can do a lot more honeymoons and weddings, but I'm just saying right. for weddings, 10 to 15 to 20 a year mm -hmm. is plenty and will give you a very good lifestyle. Right. And so you want to go after those 10 to 15 to 20 couples that are your right fit for you. Not every couple. And we'll right. get, we'll get more into that. Targeted is the key word. Targeted. Target, it is the keyword. So the second way, reason why you want to have a um, lead magnet is you want to establish yourself as the trusted expert, right. as a trustworthy expert. And when right. you create a piece of content, like a free guide or checklist or something that's really helpful for your right. ideal client, you are setting yourself apart as the expert on the subject as well as giving them that helpful information that really genuinely right. will provide some sort of answer or solution for them. And it gives people that, you know, warm, fuzzy feeling towards you. Like, oh my gosh, they were so, <clears throat> this information was so helpful. I didn't think of this. They sh shared this little nugget I didn't think of. They shared that little nugget I didn't think of. Right. And it makes people more, um, they're trusting you more and more and knowing that if you're willing to give that kind of information for free, your professional services must be stellar, right? They yeah. must be outstanding. Absolutely. So that, that there's a win-win with a lead magnet. Number one, it will draw your, as long as we target it, the key is, and we teach that really in depth in our, we have a couple of trainings on lead magnets mm -hmm. that go really in depth on this, but mm -hmm. You want to target with your lead magnet the couples that you're going after. Mm -hmm. Then you also look like the expert to these couples when they read and consume your lead magnet right. because they're using a resource that you created and they mm -hmm. automatically assume you're the expert. Now it's, it has to be good quality. You don't put trap, you don't mm -hmm. put garbage out there. You you don't do a half butt job. Pardon my well, I guess if I would have said the other word, it would have meant. But anyway, <laughs> you don't do a half a job on this thing. You got to have quality. The more quality. The more people trust you and the more good information, I mean, it's it's a little front loading, but it pays off for years to come unless your lead made it becomes obsolete and then you make a new one. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, just to end like with Elisa, who already has one, um, this is something to think about. Elisa, you may want to make a second one or change up what you have mm -hmm. or go if you're going after a new niche market, then you make your lead magnet target a new niche market. So, right. Okay, so the third reason why you want to have a lead magnet is to build a relationship with somebody. We've talked about talked about this before, but when we're trying to reach out to people who don't know us yet, right? right. They have they've not met us yet. Like we can't go in for the, you know, they're not not everybody's ready for the to say I do to you. They're not ready to say, "Yes, I will accept your proposal and work with you." You know, they're not willing to do that yet. Like they're still trying to get to know you, get to tr get to trust you. So this is just another right. way to make a connection, build a relationship. Um, and I, you know, when I think about like a lead magnet, oftentimes, you know, when it comes to like even how you offer it to people, um, let's say you're doing a, a story, a, a, an Instagram story, and you're sharing right. a tip about um, planning a destination wedding. And you, you can just be like super casual, nonchalant. You know what? I have an entire 
free guide that I put together for you. If you're interested in, in knowing all of my tips for planning a destination wedding, grab it. It's, it's easy. It's free. Right. It's free for you. Grab it. I really want you to have a great experience. Like your heart is really to like be helpful. Right. And then let's say you're in a Facebook group with a bunch of of um, brides and you're allowed to be there and you're allowed to start conversations with them. And and it makes sense what the, the questions that they're asking. You're like, hey, I actually have a free guide all about this. If you want to send me a message, you know, whatever the rules are within that Facebook group, you know, I'm happy to send you um, a link to that. I think it'll be super helpful and will answer most of the questions that you have. Like, again, right. it's it, you're building that relationship because you're you're offering something that has more of that that helpful and, and I always tell wedding wedding pros now, whether you're a wedding pro, travel pro, if you're at a wedding show or a bridal expo, it doesn't matter what it is, a networking event of your ideal clients, have an iPad with you with mm -hmm. or some type mm -hmm. of tablet that has the cover picture of your lead magnet on it. And as you're talking to them, or you can put on a little table and have a banner that advertises your lead magnet. Right. But basically, while they're in your booth, you know, if you can get their name and email when they're talking to you, they're probably going to give you their right name and email, not right. the one they sign up for the wedding show with. Mm -hmm. These couples are smart. They're not, they yeah. know how the game's played. So they're going to. I gonna, mean, even I'm, I do that all the time when I want like a coupon code for something. Yeah. I don't give my, you, you just know, give I give your like crap. My, my junk email. Uh, like right. I'll be able to go check it and get the coupon code I want, but I don't want to be bombarded with all the other right. advertisements from that person. So right? the, these wedding couples know the game. Mm -hmm. So what you want is we need to make sure your lead magnet is juicy enough mm -hmm. that these couples are like, you know, I need to really make sure I get this. I'm giving them my real, my good email address that I actually mm -hmm. open mm -hmm. and use. And then you get that name and email right at a wedding show before you don't even worry about the leads list. I mean, half of those leads aren't going to pan out anyway, maybe more than half. And so you get that name of their, your lead magnets in their inbox as soon as they get home or on their phone and you already are building a relationship with them over all the other wedding vendors that right. are at that show. Now you don't have to do wedding shows. We teach you how to do this in our 20 K system online mm -hmm. without going to wedding shows. The right. idea is you don't, if you don't want to go to them, then don't go to them. But some of you do them. Some of you have to feel like you have to do them and that's okay. I'm not, we're not criticizing anyone. We started with wedding shows when we got in the business, but right. once we got enough momentum, we didn't have to do them. Right. So you can use them at wedding shows. That's what I'm trying to say. Or like Tammy said, if you're casually talking to a prospective couple, whether you even meet them on the street or whatever, mm -hmm. you could quickly and easily pull up your phone. Like I've got a free report right here. What's your name and email? If you want mm -hmm. to put it in, I'll, mm -hmm. it'll be in your inbox waiting for you by the time you get home. Right. 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 So. Okay. So and, and we will answer everyone's questions. I see. I see we have some questions coming in and we mm -hmm. will answer those in, as soon as we're done with our uh, teaching. Yes. Okay. So the fourth thing is to grow your email list. So mm -hmm. Lou already kind of alluded to this, but we've talked about yeah. this before as well. We have to remember your Facebook followers, your Instagram followers, they're not your personal leads. And if something right. were to happen to your account, you would have no way to reach out to these people. So true. you need to have them on your email list so that you can continue to nurture that relationship, grow that relationship, send helpful information, send sales offers and promotions every once in a while, right? right. Keeping them abreast on things that are happening in the industry, all of those things. You want to be that go-to expert that people think of. Right. And that all starts with a lead magnet and building and growing that email list. And this is, it's not a, you know, quick win type of situation, right? This is a bit business building strategy that you just have right. to be consistent with. And over time, it will definitely pay off. So, and this is, and I'll give you a great example. We have a 20K member, Linda who um, just did a copywriting VIP day with me where she hired me to write her copy for her website and pages. And she was telling me how she's getting, she's just booked five destination weddings in the past, I think three months, maybe less, mm -hmm. but she's in a Facebook group where people think she's an expert and one bride is recommending her, but now everyone thinks of her as the authority and she is booking out of this Facebook group. So once you establish authority mm -hmm. with even one or two couples and they tell other people about you, it snowballs. Yes. And that's what I call the snowball effect. The minute that you get this thing rolling, it will snowball mm -hmm. and do many destination weddings and right. honeymoons and other trips because you have people that need other things. They might not be getting married, but they've heard about you and right. you can say yes or no to whatever travel you want to do. 
Right, exactly. And then the fifth reason to have a lead magnet is to increase your conversions. And you might be like, okay, that's kind of weird. Or how does that happen? Right, because obviously, no, in order for us to have a sale, we first need to get a lead. But we want that lead to stick with us and follow our process, which is right. to schedule a consultation with you. And if your lead goes through your funnel that we we're talking about, where they right. fill out their, they give you their name and email to get your free guide or whatever your checklist or whatever your lead magnet is. Right. And they consume that and they're like, okay, this person's super helpful. They read it all the way to the end or they watch your video, whatever your freebie is all the way to the end. And then you have another call to action. And that call to action is, Hey, if you're still struggling with figuring out what to do with your honeymoon, where to go for your honeymoon or how to plan your destination wedding, I have right. a complimentary 30 minute consultation. I'd love to connect with you make sure that you have the answers to your questions. Here's a link to schedule that session with me. People right. at that point, they're like already like Lou always says, pre-sold to hire you. If they go through that process, right. they read your lead magnet, they consume it. They're like, they already are trusting you to make that, that consultation. When they get to that point and they do the consultation with you, their your conversion rate will go up. Well, it will, will go it'll up. incredibly go up. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're new to consultations and you're nervous and you're a little unsure, sometimes conversion, you know, that may show up in your closing rate, but eventually as you get better and more confident and relax, your conversions will go up if they trust you. So here's someone said they don't have a funnel. Let me give a quick overview of how this funnel would look. And then we'll see, I think we should put together next week on Facebook live. We'll talk about how to create that funnel. Mm -hmm. But let me give you an overview to get your mind thinking about it. So you've got a wedding couple out there. They are engaged. They think they want to do a destination wedding or they know they do. And again, depending on what couple. So, this whole thing, a lead magnet really starts with who is the ideal couple yes. that you want to work with. Like you have to know that before you build a lead magnet. Yeah. So I'm going to just pick a couple out. I'm going to make up a couple for you to give you the example. This does not have to be your couple. Mm -hmm. I'm making this up, but I mean, this is a true. So let's say there is a, you are going after Jewish couples who want to do destination weddings, kosher destination weddings, right? This is a very specific, very specific niche. However, it's still a niche that's very profitable. All these niches, the riches are in the niches. It's yeah. true. So that, so you would create a lead magnet that draws on that problem, right? These are Jewish couples looking for kosher wedding resorts and how to have a kosher destination wedding. So you could create a lead magnet, something about five amazing resorts that are kosher friendly or that are kosher for your destination wedding, right? So you would create a lead magnet mm -hmm. based on that. You put your lead magnet out there, you create it, you put the five resorts, you're gonna start attracting the Jewish couples that you are trying to market to. Again, this is if that's your niche market. Right. They read the, they consume it. They're like, all right, wow, this really helps. And this person really knows what they're doing because part of the thing we teach you in our lead magnet training in our 20K system, um, and in another training that we have, we teach you that you should give enough good information that makes them feel like, all right, this was worth my time, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. when you get their name and email, they're giving you their time. If they think it was a waste of their time, they're not going to have anything to do with you. Right. So that's why it needs to be quality, good information. You're not teaching them how to do the whole thing. All you're doing is making them know you're an expert and that they're like, this was worth my name and email. Right. But as they do that, they're like, she really knows or he really knows what he's talking about. They could really help me because you're going to also overwhelm them just a little bit so they know that they probably shouldn't do this on their own. Right. And at the end, you have a call to action, either visit your website, schedule a consultation, because not everyone's going to be ready to schedule with you. Mm -hmm. Some people want to go to your blog or check out your website. Most people are going to stalk you first. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you give them your social profiles, you give them your website, give them the, the call to action to schedule a consultation. If they want to do that, because everyone's in a different spot, mm -hmm. cover it all. They're going to go to your website. They might start reading your blog posts and they're going to start getting reeled in more and more and more. And eventually they're going to hit the pain, but where they're like, you know what? I'm just going to contact. I just want someone to help me with this. Right. This is too important. They schedule your consultation because you're going to have that on your blog post too and on your website. And then they're already pre-sold to hire you because, and 
let's say they get your lead magnet, you're also now on your email list. So you're emailing them more information, tips more and, tips, mm -hmm. right? So if you're doing a kosher wedding couple, then you would have emails about that topic that go deeper. Mm -hmm. So maybe email one, Hey, I hope, uh, those five, I hope those five resort ideas helped you. Um, I wanted to send you an email today about a kosher menus that you can have for your destination wedding, right? You're just building on your expertise, mm -hmm. but eventually they're going to schedule the consultation with you. They're already going to be pre-sold to hire you. Right. All you have to do is seal the deal on the consultation, something we teach again in our 20 day program about consultations. You book them mm -hmm. and the snowball starts. Right. And that's how the funnel, right. that's how a consultation funnel works. There's different funnels, but that is what I would call a consultation funnel. Now, we do have a, pro a product <clears throat> that's called the Perfect Lead Magnet Blueprint. If you don't yeah, have it, really you may want to check it out. It's $27. It's everything that you could want. The tr yeah. It's training, it's templates, it's, um, a gazillion and one ways of uh, uh, where to put your your um, lead magnet, where to put tons it, right. of different title ideas. So because you do want it to, you know, be um, something that, you know, is appealing and all of that sort of thing. So, and, and before we go, I want to have Dawn, if she's but yeah, we're going to answer the questions. Right. I'm just we'll putting answer. this up there. Yep. That, so if you wanted to check that out, here's the. Yeah. Um, Sorry, it's kind of a long, uh, a long address. I probably need to buy a shorter URL and just have it forward this one day. I didn't think about it like. TammySantini.com lead magnet or something okay, like that. Okay, so Lou has a great answer to this question here. Oh. Um, do you recommend doing a double opt-in or just a single? Oh, uh, that is great. Who asked that question? It just says Facebook user. All right. I absolutely, 100%. There's a trick to this. Do not, I do not recommend you do a double opt-in because all you're doing is make it doubly difficult for these people to get your lead magnet because mm -hmm. the idea is they give you their name and email. And then what they're going to do is if you do a double opt-in, it's going to send them something. You've subscribed to this email list. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. And people are like, what? Subscribe yeah. to the email list. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Nobody wants more emails. So what you do, here's the trick to do this. And it works more effectively. It, studies show it works better than double opt-in. Mm -hmm. What you do is um, that you're going to tell them after they give you their name and email, you have an automatic page pop up or email that says, or not email. They opt in. There's always a way after the after you people opt in for a form to have a message. And it would say, keep an eye on your inbox. If you don't see it in 15 minutes, check your spam mail. If not, reach out to me. Here's my email if you don't get it. This makes them watch their email for you. Then they see your email come in or they check your spam. They open your email. And now the good news is the reason they open your email, the algorithms are like, oh, good. They want, they want this email. We're going right. to keep delivering it. Because if you don't double opt in, they don't send you emails anymore from this, from the, from your, from you guys. And so once they open the email, then you'll have a link where they can click on the link and download the lead magnet. We usually say, put your lead magnet in a Google drive, like a PDF. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the email algorithm loves that you clicked on the link of the email because that shows you interacted with the email. Then in your PS, you're going to tell them PS just to make sure all of the technology worked right would you please hit reply and say got it this now tells the email algorithm that you are responding to the email meaning that you actually want to converse you as a travel pro you get the response you should reply to that and say thank you so much for letting me know now the email algorithms are talking to each other and like hey I like you and you like me. We're going to talk to each other. We're a happy email family. All right. <laughs> but if you do the double opt-in and they don't do it, you will never have a chance to talk to them. Mm -hmm. So that is the trick. I even have that in the perfect lead magnet blueprint. I've set up the email sequence. We have an email sequence in there. You just customize for your lead magnet. Mm -hmm. And it has that whole PS thing in there, but I do not recommend double opt-in and the research shows double opt-ins hurt conversions. It does not help them. Right. So so the, so the name of the program is uh, our program is the perfect lead magnet blueprint that we're talking about. So, and here's the URL. Um, and then Chris has another question. Do you suggest a program for a funnel and automation for emails? Um, Chris, so I recommend that you have some kind of email software, right? Because you can do this funnel with just regular old email software, but it should be a email software that will have auto responders if you can. I mean, it's kind of a, you can do this on your own, but it's better to have it automated. Yeah. So I recommend there's many out there. I like either convert kit. I like convert kit. I'm not having, I'm not 
I'm not having any, uh, you know, affiliation with it right now to you guys. I'm just saying convert kits. Good. Uh, Flowdesk is very good. I like Flowdesk as well. They're really clean emails and, mm -hmm. but yes, you should have some type of email software. It doesn't necessarily have to be a funnel software, but an email software that allows you to build a form, get their email address and then send out automated emails to them. Right. Because you can build out your sequence. Matter of fact, in the Perfectly Magnet Blueprint, I give you these sequences that mm -hmm. you're going to automatically set up in an email software to send out automatically every couple of days. And there's not tons of them. Like uh, you're going to eventually take over and do your own content. Right. But it's to get you started and get you talking to their email mm -hmm. algorithm. And you, again, happy being their, their email and your email is my, my there we go. Their <laughs> email, your email, talking to each other, happy. Okay, so real quick. Um, and did uh, Deborah have a, something? She said she had oh. trouble logging on. She oh, sorry, she's Deborah. But it's great to see you, Deborah. I here. hope you're doing well. I hope you are feeling good. So, yeah, go ahead and check out our Perfect Lead Magnet Blueprint if you don't already have that. It's excellent training. It, I, everything that you need, the whole, everything you need, it'll, it'll simplify the whole process and really help you to understand the psychology yeah. of really a lead does. magnet as well as, like, really get you to think about what, type of lead magnet you should put out there. We right. always have to remember, like Lou said, who is our ideal client and what is it that they need the most? Right. What is the one thing that like my ideal client is is up at 2 a.m. searching online on Google? What are they searching for? You know, what is keeping them from taking that next step or getting their their um, their wedding, their their um, destination wedding booked? And always keep in mind, you want to answer a problem that they're going to be at at the beginning stages of planning. Right. You don't right. want to create a lead magnet for um, something that they're on, they're only going to be Googling and asking questions about after they've booked. You yeah. want to think about the types of questions and things that your bride and groom are asking before they book. Or even let's just say you're a, you spent, we talked about river cruises earlier. Let's say you're a river cruise specialist. Sure. What are the questions like? Like right now, I'm, you know, and I'm already going on my river cruise. So now I'm quest asking questions about adapters. I'm going online about adapters. I'm looking at different types of footwear that I should have. Right, I'm, right. I'm looking at more of like the packing list type stuff, but that's because my cruise is already booked. But if I were before booking my river cruise, what right. are the types of questions I'd be asking? I'd be like, what is the best river cruise for blank? Right. What is What's, the best, what best river is there a river cruise on in right. Europe? If you know, I want to see blank, blank, and blank, which river cruise should I go on? Which right. river cruise line is best? For well, let, a, let's take that idea real you know, quick. So let's just say you're trying to sell more river cruises. This works for any type of travel. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't always have to do with weddings and honeymoon. You can right. do this for anything. Right. So if you are trying to sell more river cruises, you could create a lead magnet about the top four river cruises to enjoy. If you or the top bucket list river cruises to take or you how to decide which is the first river cruise you should, if you've never river cruised before, here are five river cruises I recommend. Whatever right, you would, maybe like your ideal client are, is the older generation and it's their yeah. 50th wedding anniversary and they want to do a river cruise, but they don't want it to be super active where yeah. they're like, this is too hard for us because we're in our seventies or whatever. Like you can answer literally any type of question that, right. you know, people have a question about and create a quick guide that it, that's right. your lead magnet. All they need to do is give their name right. and email right. and then they will get your free guide. And then obviously the ultimate goal is to catch people before they've booked anything so that they right. will look to you as the expert and authority to book with you for right. whatever type of travel it is. And so literally you can have multiple different types of lead magnets. And we yeah. recommend no matter what you do, when it comes to advertising, you have to have a lead magnet. You have to have a funnel in place. You don't want to do any advertising of any kind on like Facebook yes. or whatever with, because really your call to action on a Facebook ad would right. be for them to download your free guide. Okay. Oh, so right. you have she to have that pen. whole, that whole um, funnel. Right. And if your lead magnet is not working, keep putting it out there. Keep talking about it. Well, let's talk about this. But real quick. Also, let's, you uh... may have to change the title. Right. So Dawn, are you still there? Reply if you can, Dawn, if you're still here because, um, let's see. All right. I need to work on a new lead magnet. I mean, maybe you might just have to fix the title. Right. 
Right. You know Again, I mean? don't, sometimes don't necessarily think you need to redo or throw the baby out with the bathwater. Mm -hmm. Let's, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes just t the title may not be good enough. I mean, right. you know, people are sophisticated. You have to really pique their interest. Or there's three reasons why lead magnet won't work. One is the title is not speaking to your ideal audience. You have a miss. There's like a mismatch. Mm -hmm. Like your title of your lead magnet is not enticing your your ideal client. Right. Uh, second, it could be that you don't know who your ideal client is. So again, you're not marketing to the right people. Mm -hmm. Um, and third, um, sometimes the lead magnet will get open, but if it's really bad quality, that's where the people will stop right there because they're like, oh, this is junk. Right. Mm -hmm. So you never want to mm -hmm. do that. Okay. Don, good. All right, Don, can you do me a favor? Will you tell me, first of all, Don, tell me who your ideal wedding couple is, if you can, or your ideal client you're trying to go after. I'm assuming it's wedding couples, but um what specific about yeah. so you know. just type it in your who is your ideal couple yeah what they're struggling with and then the name of your yeah. um and dawn you're part of our 20k and i know we we may have talked about this a while ago but mm -hmm. it's been a while so i want to have my memory refresh so again like don't always assume that it's just not working it's not working sometimes we need to talk about these things often and what i recommend uh, okay so she's got stress and okay. overwhelmed couples. now stress and overwhelmed couples now dawn let's go a little deeper on that do you have a particular age group of those couples that you are? Because age can matter depending on what stresses them, what overwhelms them. I know this sounds like we're nitty gritty, but this is this is how you get your niche really, really in tune with you. So are you going after a certain age group? Like are they older wedding couples? Are they younger? I, I You may be going after all the age groups of that. But. And then we just need your title of your lead magnet, Dawn. She's probably looking it up. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> She's like me. Like I know it's... I know the gist of but the title of my lead magnet, but I don't know the exact <laughs> the exact name of it. Okay, let's see. And Greta. All right, so 20 to 35 year old. All right, good. So young, just getting started in their career. Mm -hmm. And Greta, I'll answer that in just a minute, just because I want to work through this with Dawn for everybody's help. And then I'll get to yours, Greta. Um, all right, so 20 to 35. So we're talking about people still in school, wedding couples finishing their school, just starting their career. They might have starting a family, buying a home. They got a lot going on which takes up their time. So now, Dawn, what is your lead magnet? At least now I understand, because I just want to see there could just be a simple mismatch. It also could be your lead magnet just isn't enough places. There's there's lots of... Right. Yeah, that, that would be the number three one is your lead magnet may not just be out there enough. Right. And so one of the things too, um, when it comes to creating uh, a lead magnet, let's say you do a lead magnet and it has to do with planning a destination wedding and you're giving like seven tips or um you know it's a guide of some sort where right? like literally take one of those tips break it down write a whole blog post on it um and then have your lead magnet as the call to action at the bottom of that then take that <laughs> tip and make a video make a TikTok, go on an instagram story make a reel and talk about that one tip call to action is your lead magnet like you cannot overdo it okay she's at cost Costco. That's all right. Dawn, that's my heavy place. Sweet forever. I, I love Costco. That's my heavy Maverick, they got some Sabado sausages on sale this week that are one of my favorites that are on sale. So get those. But I but completely the, the understand. The biggest Dawn. thing that you can do to get your your lead magnet actually somebody to opt in is to constantly be talking about it. Right. Constantly be referencing it, um, talking about, okay, so she's got five tips you can use to help plan your destination wedding without being stressed or overwhelmed. Okay. All right. So good. So five tips and Greta, I haven't forgot about you. All right. Five tips you can use to help plan your destination wedding without being stressed or overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. All right. And I know that's, that sounds, that's a lot similar to the, to one of the, our title we have, but we have a little bit of something mm -hmm. like insider tips. So we, I would say let's let's test your, now is this the only, Dawn, is this the only place you have your lead mate? No, just, she's got it on website, Instagram, Pinterest. She does. Okay, good, good. good. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure. Sorry, five tips you can plan. So I would say let's let's tweak your title and see what happens with this. If you can, like I don't want you to have to uh, you don't have to tweak your title on the actual lead magnet, just where you're how you're marketing it. So I think we should tweak the title a little bit, try to make it a little bit sexier. So let me let me think about this for a minute because I want to be uh, good. But I know with ours we have four insider secrets, and sometimes the word secret pulls on people a little bit more. So, um, and you have valuable tips. The problem is, so first of all, that five valuable five tips you can use. Gotcha. All right. Uh -huh. 
So I want to take my time with it because I want to make sure that I, I feel like I, I can do a decent job of copy. I just want to rush it for you. I just need help. All right. I, I think, Don, you might want to think about five essentials. Mm -hmm. You must, you need. Yeah, you, I was thinking must have for sure. Mm -hmm. Five essentials you must have to plan a destination wedding without stress or overwhelm. So Tammy's typing that in. Actually, I wasn't. Oh, I thought you were typing it. Sorry. I thought Tammy said me then. Five essential, five essentials you must have to plan a destination wedding without stress and overwhelm. I think that is a little bit sexier. Mm -hmm. um, you could also say five must haves to plan a stress free destination wedding. Mm -hmm. You could say it that way five must haves to plan a stress free destination wedding. You did five, you didn't five must have tips you. First, to plan a stress-free destination wedding that you didn't know about, or something about right. like you didn't think of. Right, um, or five things you must know about planning destination wedding before you start. Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. But so I would try get these from the Facebook Live and like rewatch it and get mm -hmm. these and try them in different spots. Try the different titles. See which one starts getting nibbles because do some Facebook and Instagram posts about your lead magnet mm -hmm. and put in some of these title variations and see if that gets you some nibbles. I think it will. Mm -hmm. I think it will get you some nibbles. So um, yeah. let's see. What is. Yeah. And then um, Pamela had said your perfect destination wedding. Ah. So yeah, you can always elaborate on some of these. Five you know. essentials to plan a perfect destination wedding mm -hmm. without stress and overwhelm. That might work too. That's good, Pamela. All right, Greta. I wanted to get to Greta's. Um, okay, Dawn wrote it down. Dawn, you're very committed to be in Costco where all the shiny, <laughs> where squirrel syndrome is everywhere, and you're still with us. Very impressive. Um, all right, Lou, do you have set, set pricing, pricing and creating, creating lead magnets. magnets or in case? We have not done any done for you lead magnets before. So, um, Greta, with that, with something like that, um, I would, I know that you have, I'm pretty sure you have the lead magnet blueprint. Mm -hmm. I would at least look at the lead magnet blueprint or get it if you don't have it, but I'm pretty sure you have it. Mm -hmm. If not, I do that type of copywriting VIP day, but if it's just a lead magnet, I could look at how much time it's going to take. And if I need, if I think I need to adjust the, my pricing on it, I would adjust it for that lower, you know, lower, probably not higher, but maybe lower if I needed to. So Greta, that so could be probably a, yes would be a case by case situation. Yeah, and that it probably would be well, depending I mean, on if it's a rewrite or a you know if it's a start from scratch right. or if it's a spruce this up for me type of. Yeah, depending mm -hmm. what you need, Greta, email us at hello at tammysantini.com and tell me what you think you might want to do, and I'll look at it and I'll give you I'll let you know. All right, guys. Well, we'll continue the discussion on lead right. magnets next so week. So next week we're talking about building out your funnel freely, but this week. Think about who, make sure you really know who your ideal wedding couple is and make sure your lead magnet seems to speak to that wedding couple. So. Right. All right. And Dawn, get that Sabato sausage. It's in the meat section. It's $5 <laughs> off. It's a hot buy at Costco. Because <laughs> I saw an email. I'm going for that sausage this week. Oh, my god. And Dawn, before we got one in Kalamazoo, we'd go up to Grand Rapids and yes. shove our little Prius. I used to have a Toyota Prius. We'd shove that thing loaded with Man, food from Costco. We would. We I love a big deep freezer. And yeah. Anyways. All so, right. All right, you guys. Have a great week. We'll see it. And then those of you who are in our community, we've got that Riviera Maya, um, Romance in the Riviera Maya Masterclass yes. tomorrow. Super yes. exciting. Absolutely. So actually, everyone's invited. So yeah, you, you all you are invited. gotten that. an email about that. I think the... I think I'm sending one out again here in a minute. So watch your watch your yeah. email. Why, if you're not because I have that. a last minute um, invitation going out at 1:45. Okay. Um, for that, so check your junk or spam mail if you don't see that in the next couple of minutes in your inbox. Right. All right. Great to this was great. This was fun today, you guys. Great to see you, and we'll see people tomorrow that are at the class, uh, free class tomorrow. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye.